Hey, didn't see you there. Today, we're going to be analyzing both ends of the spectrum, the good and bad diets. <laughs> so let's look at Canfield students' diets. Okay, so describe your diet. Um, my diet, I'm on a 2,000 calorie diet right now, and um, so I'll try to uh, balance out like three meals and two snacks a day and try to balance out the calories to about 2,000. Like um, get into that specific weight class. Yeah, so I try to cut healthily so I don't want to be like way over but right before I have to wrestle and then like torture myself for like two days and not eat anything. So I'm trying to take it in a healthy manner and start cutting. How would you describe your nutritional values and like what you eat in the day? It's anything. I mean, <laughs> it's like uh, last time I we went, I had like 15 pancakes, six sausages, and one of the like sunrise meals. So. And, um, after once Chipotle. And how do you like maintain this type of diet as a wrestler? Um, during football season, it's kind of just like time to eat, and then when like about a couple weeks before wrestling hits, I start to like die down so I can shrink my stomach before, so I'm not as hungry. How do you do that? Uh, just minimal eating. So if I'm hungry, I just have like like a Cliff Bar, just something small, and then when wrestling hits, it's more just like rice cakes and you know salad and all that disgusting stuff but what happens then after you're done wrestling um i slowly start eating more and more and then like as of right now it's like almost done with football season uh it's like my prime for eating so it's you know just as much as i can before i have to go back into less eating so how would you describe your diet uh my diet i would say it, it's it's a good healthy diet it, it consists of a lot of balanced meals, so I'm eating, you know, I'm having protein with carbs and vegetables. I don't do a lot of fruit, I probably should do more, but it, it mainly consists of vegetables, carbs, and then uh, protein. So what would you say you would eat in a 24 hour span? In a 24 hour span, that's where, I cut, where the intermittent fasting comes in, so what I do is I break the 24 hours up into certain um, intermediate times, so like for instance, most of the days of the week I do like an 18-6 or a 19-5, so 18 hours of the day I don't eat and then five I do. So say on a normal day I'll eat starting at like two o'clock in the afternoon and then I'll eat till like seven o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night and in that time period I usually have a smaller meal like a lunch meal like around two after school and then around six or seven o'clock I'll have dinner which is a larger meal, more protein and carbs and that last meal so I can last as long as I need to to the next uh, intermediate time. All right, Scotty, so please describe your diet for me. Um, my diet is whatever fills me up. Honestly, I have no diet. I eat what's put in front of me and really? I finish it. Okay, so some say that you're a picky eater. Describe some foods that you would not eat. I refuse to eat fish, mm -hmm. um, broccoli, carrots. I hate carrots with a passion. Mm -hmm. um, I eat most meats. Um, pepperoni on pizza is a big one. I don't like pepperoni on pizza. Okay. I don't know. How often then do you eat candy? <sighs> candy, uh, probably four times a week, five times a week. How much candy are you eating, would you say? Um, a bag of M&Ms. So what are your allergies? I am allergic to dairy, egg, nuts, and shellfish. But when I was younger, I was born with it. And I used to be allergic to those four and wheat and soy, but I grew out of those two. So how did this affect your diet? Or like, what do you eat? Well, I can't eat anything with dairy, so it's mainly the meats I eat, like chicken, steak, veggies and fruit and all that I can eat, which is mainly what I eat, but most stuff is it's a no for me. So when were you diagnosed with celiac disease? I was diagnosed at age 10 and 2010. Can you explain what it is? Yeah, so celiac is an autoimmune disease where your body attacks itself. So every time you eat meat, it attacks the small intestine because you can't digest it. And so that brings side effects like throwing up, vomiting, diarrhea, um, headaches, canker sores, um, you don't grow, things of that sort. So how has this affected your diet? Um, well, so since 10, I've had to cut out wheat, barley, and rye because that all has the gluten particle in it. So I don't eat any 
any of that. So why did you decide to be vegan? Okay, so it mainly started because my sister, and I already was dairy free for a while, so I was just like, why not? And then I liked it, so I stuck with it. So like, being a vegan, what does that mean? Like, what can and can't you eat? Uh, no products that come from animals, so no dairy, meats. Some vegans don't eat honey. I mean, I still have honey, but like, yeah.